Boom, I'm in another universe. I've known that for years now. Anyway, let's put the mic there so you can hear me up close and personal. G'day guys, it's Jarrah here and welcome to today's video where today we are going to be testing to see if I have murder dyslexia. So if you don't know already, yes, I do have dyslexia. I got told I had it, might have been last year or the year before that, I'm not sure which. Um, not only when I, it was 2016 I got told. Not only did I get told I had dyslexia, but I also got told I had a poor working memory, hence that. So basically what it means is that, I think it was, oh, I can't remember now, haha. <laughs> Most of the information from my brain, so let's say 80% of information from short term to long term memory gets lost. It doesn't, it doesn't reach the long term memory. So that's fun. So today we're going to be seeing if I do have dyslexia according to um, testdyslexia.com. Test dyslexia so this is a free online evaluation from Davis at Dyslexia Association International. So there's five pages, 41 questions in all. Let's have a look. Is it dyslexia? It appears bright, highly intelligent and articulate but unable to read, write or spell at grade level. Um, my spelling is shocking. I can read pretty well. I can't write. So I'm gonna say... Do I appear bright? I, my shirt's bright. <laughs> uh, highly intelligent. That's debatable. Articulate sometimes. I'm gonna say somewhat. Labeled lazy, dumb, careless, immature, trying, not trying hard enough or a behavior problem. I have been told I'm not trying hard enough my entire life. So yes. High in IQ yet may not test well. Academically taste well orally but not really that is true I am very good at vocal stuff comes to written stuff I am shit I am really bad at it feels dumb has poor self-esteem hides or covers up weaknesses with in Garius I can't even read that strategies yes I have a really low self-esteem I always tell myself how bad I am and all these things um, I always try to cover up any weaknesses I have so that's definitely an always Easily frustrated emotional about school, reading, or tests. I'm not emotional when it comes to school or tests. I'm hard, it's hard to frustrate me. There are certain things that just nick my armor. But yeah. What am I talented in? Huh. <laughs> Is nothing one of them. Art. I cannot draw if my life depended on it. So no. Drama. I did do drama and I enjoyed it. So I'm going to say somewhat. Music. I am bad at. Sports. I like. Dance. I was really good at. Mechanics, I've never done. Storytelling, I'm not bad at. I wouldn't say I'm the greatest. I'm no Thomas Sanders, but you know. You know, I'm not bad. Uh, mechanic, uh, let's, actually no, mechanics I'm not too bad, but I'm gonna say rarely. Storytelling, sales or business, no, because I don't like to, like, barter people. It's, I hate that. Strategic thinking, somewhat. Designing, I can't draw, so rarely. Building and engineering them. No. Seems to zone out or daydream often gets lost easy or looks, loses track of time. Definitely me, especially if something has happened to me, whether it's an experience or whether it's like something emotional I know is gonna happen, or I'm just so deep in thought, I'll zone out. Like I've zoned out at one stage so much that I had someone like shaking me and poking me and being like, hey, 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 you alright? And I was like, what? Sorry, it zoned out. It, it happens. So. Difficulty sustaining attention seems hyper or a daydreamer. See, this kind of contradicts because I, I would say rarely. My only reason is because I'm pretty good at keeping attention. If someone's talking to me, you've got my attention. Like, girl, you got my attention. But, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a hyper kid. Learns best through hands-on experience, demonstration, experiments, observation, and visual aid. Yes, yes, yes. Listening and repeat helps straight for me. Complaints of dizziness, headaches, or stomach aches while reading or studying. I mean, sometimes I get a headache. Confused by letters, numbers, words, sequences. Yes. I am... Okay. So math would kill me because I'd be writing down what... I thought I was like, you'd copy you know, the equation, you write it down, then you do the answer. And I would get the answer wrong every time. And I'd be like, why am I getting the answer wrong? One, I'm really bad at math, so it doesn't help too. But two, it's because I would always copy it down wrong. I'd always switch, like, two letters around. Or two numbers, I should say. 
Although math, math has both, so woohoo, good on math. Reading or writing shows repetition, additions, transposition, ominous, reversal in letters. Yeah, I'm just gonna say yes, I reverse my letters a fair bit, and I do repeat a lot as well when I write. That's why I have a app that helps me called WorkU. It reads it out to me, and it's actually really helpful. So if you have trouble with that, download WorkU. It's not sponsored. Just wanted to help you guys out. Complaints of feeling, complaints of feeling or seeing non-existent movement while reading, writing, or copying. No. Seeing so difficulty with vision, yet eye exams don't reveal a problem. I mean, I do wear glasses, but that's only if I'm extremely tired. So I'm gonna say n rarely. Extremely keen-sighted and observant, yet lacks depth of perception. Peripheral? Mm, no. Reads and rereads with little comprehension. Somewhat, yes. I have to reread things multiple times, and sometimes it does not sink into my head. Spells phonetically or in and or inconsistently. Yeah. But I'm also really bad at spelling, so there's that too. <laughs> Hearing and speech. Hears things not said or not appears to others. Easily distracted by or overly sensitive to sound. I'm gonna say somewhat. My only reasoning is because I say somewhat is because sometimes I'll hear this high pitched screeching noise and all of a sudden I'll be trying to you like this is for normal, you know, all giddy and happy and like woohoo. And then all of a sudden I'll just be like, and then I'm good again. It's just, I don't know what it is. Difficulty putting thoughts into words. Is there a forever and ever always button? And a lot of people can vouch me when I say this. I struggle with saying what I want to say. I can't get stuff from my head to my hand. I can't type very well. That's why a lot of my friends are saying to voice memo me now. Because I can talk to them back and it's a lot easier than trying to type. Plus I'm really slow at typing. But it's difficulty. It's difficult for me to put my emotions or put things into words. I'll be like, how do I describe this to you? And obviously they want to know what I'm talking about. So I'm trying to describe it. And I'm like... I don't know how to say it. Think of this song. Like, my mood lately is the song by Zach Callis, which is oh, Phantom Love, I believe that's the mood. Yeah. So I'll be like, this is my emotion right now. I can't explain things always, so sometimes I'll use songs and that helps me. So that's, yeah, people get frustrated with that, but it's hard for me. Trouble with writing or copying. Pencil grip may be unusual. Yes. I have big trouble writing. Hair writing, variables, or is it illegible? Yeah. Clumsy or can I pour a ball or team sports super two be fine? No, I'm actually pretty good when it comes to sports. I say that even though I don't play sport. <laughs> Prone to motion sickness. No. Maybe somewhat or completely ambidextrous. I'm gonna say somewhat because I write with my right hand, so I'm right handed if you didn't know. Um, trying to think. I kick a footy with my right, and that includes soccer ball. I can catch with both hands. I like to eat fork and knife changes. I'm trying to do a lot, I can catch them, yeah. So I'm a bit of both, like, I can sort of write with my left, but it looks the same as my right, so, eh. Often confuses left and right over and under, never. I'm pretty good with that stuff. Math and time management. Oh no. Has difficulty telling time? Yes. Managing time? Yeah. Learning sequences, information? Yes. I suck. I'm good at being on time. So I'm going to break this question down. Has difficulty telling the time? I have a watch, which my best guy friend got me. It's going to be upside down for you guys, but. He. So, and I'm always like having to stare at it for a minute figure out what it is. Managing time I'm okay with. It depends on what it is. Learning sequences. Learning sequential information. Way too difficult for me. Um, being on time I'm usually pretty good at. Computing math shows dependent on fingers and counting other tricks. So yes, I always like I'll be like oh what's oh, I don't even know. Let's do 4 times 4. So I'll be like 4, 8, 12, 16. Like I can't just go 16. It's 4, 8, 12, 16. Like I have to count can count, but has difficulty counting objects and dealing with money. So yeah, I'm good with counting objects. Difficulty with money. That's that teetering point. I'm just not good at calculating. So I'm going to say somewhat. Can do with arithmetic, but no word problems. Has problems showing math step on paper. Yes. 
when I did math in school, I struggled with showing up my working out. I just could not do it. Every single thing I did, it was just ridiculously hard. Like, I could get you the answer, but showing you step by step on how I did it, I could not do. It was a living hell for me. It seeks long term memory for experiences, location, or faces. Excellent. Wow, I can't read. I'm going to say absolutely. Uh, actually, no, hold on. I was going to say absolutely, but no, I reread the question. Huh. Um, I'm going to say somewhat. I'm good with remembering songs and lyrics and things like that. I'm good with people's faces I've met a couple of times, locations. I can tell you like landmarks, but not street names. I can tell you some experiences I've had, but not all of them. It depends on how long ago. So that's why I'm saying somewhat. Poor memory for singles is information that has not been experienced. Yep. <laughs> Things primarily with images and feelings, not sounds or words. Yes, I am very much a person of, hey, listen to the song, this is how I feel. Or this picture is how I'm feeling. Or stuff like that. It's more of those things. And this is the last page, I believe, from memory. But my memory's bad. Extreme, oh, this is behavior, health, development, and personality. Extremely disorderly or compulsive orderly. So this is a, I'm kind of in between somewhat and rarely. I like to have my clothes in color coordinated order. That's just me. I love it. It makes me feel really happy. Um, there's just things like that, like the spice rack that we have in the house. I put in alphabetical order because it's just so much better. So I'm going to go with somewhat. Can be a class clown. Nope. I'm not a class clown. I like to be quiet and do my work. So too quiet. I'm not too quiet. I do talk in class. I'm going to say rarely. Has unusual early or late development stages. Talking, crawling, walking, tiny shoes. I first started walking when I was one years old. So I'm going to say no, I don't know. Prone to ear infections, sensitive to food, addictive and chemical products. I did have ear problems when I was younger with airplanes. It would give me this high pitched squeal and I would have to like lean against my mum's leg so her leg would be here, her hand would be on my head and she would just squash my ears and I would be chewing bubble gum at the same time. Um, sensitive to foods, I am to um, like heat but that's normal some sh even like high sugar stuffs so I'm gonna go somewhat um can be an extreme deep or light sleeper I am dead sleeper like I will sleep I've slept through hurricanes I've slept through earthquakes I've slept through like all of those things I've slept through people throwing pillows at me and their phones at me and all of these things so yes I'm a deep sleeper bed way beyond appropriate age nope unusual high or low tolerance pain. No, I would say I have standard tolerance pain, but I haven't tested it, so I wouldn't really know. Strong sense of justice, emotionally sensitive, and strives for perfection. Rarely. I am can be emotionally sensitive, but I try not to show it. I'm learning to show that more. And strong sense of justice. I'm gonna say yes, only because I think gender equality is the main one. Yeah. Mistakes and symptoms increase dramatically confusion, time pressure, emotional stress, or poor, poor health. Yes. If I'm under a lot of stress, or if one bad thing's already happened, I'm prone to make more and more mistakes. That's just, I freak out, and then I make more mistakes because of the first mistake I made. So now we're going to process the assessment and see what they say. So, we already know that yes, I do have dyslexia, but let's see what the website says. Drum roll, please. Okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. This person talented in these areas. Yeah, 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 yeah. My biggest problem areas are listening or no speech. No. The rest, yes. This person may have moderate difficulties in these areas. Yes. So this following chart shows the key areas of learning. Okay, so math is in this. I'm gonna say edge of severe. Disorientated is moderate. Reading moderate. Self esteem, okay, so pen writing is actually lower, which is interesting. Disorientated means a shift of perception of triggered by confusion or stress. This person gives an inaccurate picture of the environment or is looking at mental images instead. Okay, interesting. 
Reading and spelling. Difficulty with reading and spelling are often most common symptoms of dyslexia, often triggered by some of the 217 abstract words of which dyslexics can't form mental pictures. Interested to see what that would be. Uh, sh attention focus. Shifts of attention caused by disorientation can reverse or alter the sense of motion, balance, and time. This person may be hyper, easily distracted, impulsive, or a daydreamer. I'm going to say yes to daydreamer, the rest I don't think so. Math and time management. Disorientation can't, can cause a person's accurate sense of time sequence in order to develop more slowly normal than skills. This means there's no foundations for accurate counting, math conception, and even social skills. That is correct, I believe. Handwriting. Disorientating, just, yeah, disorientating affects the sense of balance and motion. The, the person may feel a sense of movement which still, which still, when sitting still. Sometimes I'll actually like just stand and I'll do this. I'm starting to notice that more. Fine and gross body skills can be underdeveloped or there may be problems with directions such as right and left confusion. I'm going to say yes to that. My only reason I'm saying yes to that is because when I'm with my friends and let's say we go into a shop and we come out, I couldn't tell you what way we had just come from. So that's fun. Self-esteem. Woohoo! Um, Dyslexics learn, learn best through real world experiences, which is true for me. Often they are mistaken as slow, lazy, or stupid in school. This leads to feeling of inferiority. Once they learn to utilize their special talents to succeed in school, it, we usually see a dramatic shift in self-esteem. That's true. I struggled a lot in English. Now that I can speak all my things in English, I'm actually getting A's. So going from like a C to an A is a huge difference for me. Can I learn more? I don't want to read books. So this didn't really tell me if I have dyslexia or not, according to this. Um. Oh, here. If two or more areas are moderate to severe range, answers are you're dyslexic and can be corrected. Oh. Okay, so if two or more areas are moderate to severe range. And if you can see here, like, all of these are in moderate to severe. Like, even my handwriting isn't even slight. That's fascinating. So this is correct. I do have dyslexia. Huh. Now I can believe I have dyslexia even though I already knew that because the website told me so. <laughs> so I thought this was an interesting video. This is, I forgot to say at the beginning of the video. This was actually inspired by Ethan from Crank Gameplays because he did a video like this. If I remember, I'll put his link in the description below. But um, I saw him do this and I was like, oh, damn. Why don't I do it? I have dyslexia. I want to see if they think I do or not. It'd be quite interesting to see. And look at that. They were correct. Anyway. Dry, jar out sink. Jar out. See you guys in the next video. Whoop. Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And all of you guys. And guys non-binary non pals are in another universe. I just wanted to say it because it's a cool t-shirt. And I'll see you guys in the next video before I stuff up this outro even more. Bye. See ya. I need to stop screwing up my outro. Uh.